Hey, should I get a chance to look at uh, Nico uh, Curry was talking about his arm strength and his ability to make plays with his legs. I guess, have you had a chance to look at film? And if so, what stands out? Right. You know, I've been seeing him all throughout the year. You know, he's a well-talented quarterback, you know, being able to throw the ball and being able to use legs. You know, that's what you see in a, a modern quarterback at this point in time, a, a dual quarterback. So, you know, he's very talented. Jalen, we uh, saw Smile make his return on Saturday. What did you see from him as he worked back from injury, and, and how big is it for you guys at Inside Linebacker getting Smile back? Right, you know, Smile's a resilient you know, person, player. You know, it was just a great opportunity to see him go out there. You know, I actually shared his uh, his first snap with him. You know, it was just a, a full circle moment. You know, me coming in as a freshman, him being the, the guy who was starting, and then him finally getting back, you know, under his feet, you know, getting the opportunity to play. You know, it was just a great thing to see him back out there. Yeah, you guys are very process oriented over it being concerned about results week in and week out. When it when it does come after a loss, how do you describe what that process is, you know, the very next week? How right. much does it differ at all from a win? How much more attention to detail, things like that? Right, you know, we move on and just get ready for our next game. You know, we, like you said, we're very process oriented and that's part of the process, just you know, just getting over that hump and, and moving on to the next week and what's uh important at hand. Yeah, obviously Tennessee's very different, but they play a lot of pace. They play with a lot of pace. Ole Miss has, Mississippi State has several offenses in this conference, like a lot of plays. Do you ever get comfortable? Do you ever get used to playing against a defense that plays a lot of pace? Right, you know, being, like you said, there's a lot of teams that have pace, you know, and the way we practice the pace, you know, we do get comfortable in that situation, making sure we practice enough and prepare enough that when we get to the game, that it's just very normal for us to get, get ready and get lined up to play. Yeah, Ole Miss last week came out and said they were treating that game like a playoff. Do you think that desperation that they played would help them at all? And do you think that could help you guys going into this game against Tennessee this week? Right, for our, for our mindset for Tennessee is just playing Tennessee. You know, we're not moving far for, further in the future. We're just going out there and, and playing football like we normally should do. You know, that's what our important. That's important for us, and that's our, our, our goal for this week. You know, it's been five weeks, but does it feel like five months since you played at home? And what can you? What do you need out of the crowd that you've experienced on the road against your kids? Right, you know, just great crowd energy. You know, bring that energy for it in, in, in the stadium for us. You know, just bring the energy out. You know, for a big game. You know, we have college game day there as well. You know, just a lot of things going on, and of course, our stadium's always there uh, to bring the electrifying energy and juice we need. So, Jalen, uh, Tennessee has one of the top rushing offenses this season. Just in general, when you're facing a team that can run the ball like that, what are the keys? What do you guys defensively have to do to try to slow them down? Right, you know, just being able to stop the run. You know, they're explosive offense on defense, well, on offense as a passing offense and rushing offense. You know, just things like that, honing in to our craft and you know, and executing what we need to do. So you know, it's eliminating the, the the rush plan. That's what we have to do. And then of course they'll go to their passing game as well. So doing that and, and vice versa, just eliminating those explosives. John, a couple of weeks ago, you guys had a, a rival in Florida, then you had Ole Miss, and now you have a rival in Tennessee. I know you were a North Carolina guy, so you didn't necessarily grow up with these rivalries, but do you think rivalry games mean more to players? Uh, you know, we're not necessarily with these uh, 12 team playoff era. Right. Um, there, I'm not familiar uh, from being North Carolina, but I mean, there, there is a, a, a rivalry, I guess you say, for this game, but it's for us, to me, it's just another SC football game. We play great SC schools throughout the year, and there's just another out, uh, another opportunity for us to go out there and play football. Jalen, okay, Coach Smart has talked about several of these offensive linemen battling through injury and you know, continuing to work to get out there. Just what have you seen from that group and, and what they've gone through and what they've tried to do to, to help you guys? Right, it's a, it's a hard working group we have in our line room. You know, they're doing the best that they can to be able to be healthy and, and support. You know, for our offense, you know, they're doing their best the ability to. To perform each Saturday, and you know, I appreciate them greatly for what they, they do uh, week in and week out. Hey, Jalen, did you see that viral video of Jake celebrating after the game? I did. As a leader for someone playing in that game, what was your reaction? What would you say? Right, you know, just you know, the mistake. I mean, they, you know, that's just for Coach Lamar's hands. You know, there's nothing I can really comment in and speak about all. Any more for Jalen? It seemed like um, you know, Ole Miss had a lot of receivers running free uh, as a defense collectively. You know, what were some of the breakdowns you think that, that led to that? 
Right, you know, you know, there's a lot of things that the old Miss uh, offense had prepared, you know, and what we needed to have answers to. Sometimes we just didn't have that answer for it. Um, but I feel that communication and things all that are, are part of our, our end, you know, comes with that as well. But I mean, just having better communication and be, being able to execute well at a high level um, to prevent those things happening. Okay, thank you, Jalen. Thanks, Thanks Jalen.